so hi everyone nvidia has just launched himba and most interestingly it is a hybrid architecture that this particular model uses so it is neither using transformers it is neither using mamba it is using a hybrid of these two so it is one of its kind model and surprisingly it has beaten most of the small llms and all the 2 billion llms in that particular category on all the metrics so the model is size is quite small and this looks to be a revolutionary idea when coming to small sized llm so let's get started let's try to understand how himba works and its different configurations so before we jump on to how the details of himba we must need to understand that llms usually uses either of the two popular architectures either they use transformers the idea of self attention that you might be hearing and either they use mamba that uses state space models which is not very very frequent but i think usually most of the llms uses transformers and some of them uses mamba as well now mamba the advantages that mamba gave is it is relatively a newer architecture which appears to be more memory efficient so compared to transformers it is faster also it is more memory efficient also and almost giving similar results to transformer hence most of the forms are now shifting towards the mamba architecture for llms now once we know about transformers and mamba let's try to understand what is nvidia himba so basically it is a architecture that uses a hybrid of these two that is attention and mamba the hybrid approach that is provided in mamba helps you for parallel processing as well hence more efficient in terms of memory and computation himba integrates attention heads with excellent high resolution recall so basically attention is more for uh, is helps you to remember more specific details while ssn the state space models that are used in mamba provide you with efficient context handling so this is how the hybrid architecture looks like input tokens are there meta tokens are there that we would be discussing uh, in the coming up part then the input goes in latent features are extracted and then there are two branches that are coming out one is for extracting the ssm head the ssm features and other is the attention matrix that gets built so basically they are now using two parallel architectures one is the transformer part attention other is the mamba side and then you are doing a mean of the outputs and then the final output is coming out this is the full architecture that the team has shared uh, you can have a look here now what are the salient features as mentioned it uses both attention and state space models head and combine the results from these two outputs that are coming in so i have already covered in detail how mamba works in the previous post you can check that out talking about uh, what was the meta tokens that i talked about it is special tokens called as meta tokens that are added at the beginning of input sequences these token help to store and manage important information throughout processing of the input enhanced efficiency with cross layer sharing himba integrates techniques that allows it to share memory and attention across different layers of the model so this is also very interesting we won't be deep diving much into the model because the model is very very new as we move ahead i would be releasing some more tutorials on it but right now given the metrics i am very very impressed because it has outperformed most of the small size llms so as you can see on the right hand side the legend llama 3.2 1b open elm by apple 1b 5 1.5 small by hugging face it has beaten everyone the throughput token is humongous that is 664 tokens per second cache size is less and average accuracy is also better than the other models here is a detailed results that you can see and comparison as present on the hugging face model page as i already told you token throughput is the highest compared to llama 3.2 and quen 2.5 as well cache efficiency it just uses 879 mb of cache compared to other models task performance that you can explore in the particular sheet that has been shared it has outperformed most of the llms in that case also now how to use himba right now the model hasn't been uh, the weights are not released on the hugging face model page but as mentioned in the one of their official post it would be released by tomorrow so from tomorrow you can navigate to nvidia page for himba 1.5b base model and here they have provided you with all the codes and stuff where you can explore how to run the model and you can get started with it so i think this is a revolutionary idea because now 
as you might be hearing the news that uh, training the AI is for more in intelligence is becoming obsolete. Now, the saturation point has reached out. So teams are trying to develop different methods, trying to change the architecture now to attain that at a more intelligence. So I think now making changes in the architecture would be a great choice. And Himba looks to be the first of its kind. The model size is quite small, just 1.5 billion parameters worth trying out open source completely. So I hope you try the model out once the model size is released, when the model weights are released. Thank you so much.